Alright, hey guys. So this is part five of the snake profiles video series. Found my tripod, so this should be much better. Alright, uh this is my male fire. Uh this is a well I forgot the line, but it's fine, it doesn't matter, it's a fire. Uh, the fire was first proven in 2003 by Eric Davies, and it's a co-dominant trait. Now, I had not explained those those terms yet. Um, you have recessive, co-dominant, dominant traits. Recessive traits are things like piebald, clown. I believe the desert ghost is recessive. Um, desert ghost being its own morph, not a desert plus a ghost. There's other... I'll get into that later. But recessive traits, if the snake carries one copy of the gene, it will look like a normal animal, but it will carry one copy of the gene, and it's called het for that trait. So like het for piebald, het for albino, uh, het for clown. It means heterozygous. If it's a homozygous animal, it carries two copies of the gene, it is that morph, be it piebald, albino, etc. So codominant morphs, they work differently. Um, if it carries one copy of the gene, it's a visual animal, like this. This is my fire. If it carries two copies of the gene, air is a super form of the gene. In this case, it is a completely white snake with black eyes, black eye leucistic. Um, that's the most common form. Sometimes it's not completely white. Sometimes there's some yellow on it. It all depends. Um, things happen with mutations, you know, in the genes. It it's never completely uniform. I mean, I've seen super fires that are completely white. I've seen super fires that have some yellow blocking. I've seen super fires with a yellow line down their back. Anyway, both the codominant and super form of this gene was proven by Eric Davies. The fire in 2003 and the super in 2002, which makes me think that he imported the super and then proved out the fire as its own separate gene. Um, I don't know, I don't know the whole story. I tried doing some research, that's all I found. So, um, anyway, what to look for in a fire. This head spot up top, if he wants to show his head, which is tough with ball pythons. There we go, that faded head spot, that's a key indicator. The belly, nice and clear. The flames, and they're all around lighter than normals. I mean, that's like a nice, almost orangey color, I guess you can call it. Uh, my plans for him in the future, uh, he's already bred with two of my pastels, so I'm hoping for fireflies. Um, obviously, super fires, definitely on the list of things to do. Um, fire pewters are real nice. So, I mean, I've got that pewter female that everybody seems to love. Don't worry, her profile's coming up. She's one of the last ones, though, so you got a while to go. Um, I don't know. Just all around fire combinations, you know. See if I can get myself a female butter later and make a fire butter. They're real nice, too. But he's starting to get antsy, so I'm going to put him away and move on to the next video. Anyway, that's the fire. Out.